All right, people, and you've seen interviews, you've seen a whole lot, but you probably never saw a pizza interview right <laughs> here. And we're all quite hungry. It has been a, quite a crazy stream so far. So pizza for everyone. I've got here the heroes of the match. Love Chang right here and Viper right here, the winner. Once more, a 2-1 series and an amazing series at that. I want to start with Love Chang. What an awesome first game. You did so well in that first game. That that first game gave you confidence. You thought you were, could take the series at some point. So, I think you fought a match. But after the first game, you actually didn't give him any confidence, but <laughs> that made him nervous. <laughs> made him nervous. Ah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why he went to smoke after the first game. Yeah, maybe. So, so this is because this is why you went to smoke after the first game. Ah, yeah. I understood that. I understood that. that. Understood that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a viper, I just asked you. You did tell. Uh, you weren't really nervous after the first game, but you felt like you didn't perform your best in that first game. What was for you your biggest mistake right there? I, I played too unsafe. I didn't like fully wall. So he could sneak around. And, like as long as the opponent is fully walled, if I try to play aggressive, then I'm gonna lose anyway because I needed just to defend. But crossbows forward and. That's Allowed him to move around and force me back again and cause some idle time. And then he could go the other side and so on. Much like we saw, uh, it was it? Yo against Dogao. Yeah, Keeping him yeah, busy all the way around. around. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. So it was much uh, like that. And what about losing uh, two villagers to four militia? What was that all that about? That was like because I sent my militia as well forward. Yeah, yeah, but he had four he villagers was... against four militia, and those villagers were so far away yeah, from the TC. I don't know. I just, I just lost them. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has yeah. those moments. It's just like do something you know that we didn't know that you had them as well. But I've had plenty. <laughs> <laughs> For the second game, we were expecting a water map. Of course, we uh, sort of thought maybe Rooster. You went for Team Islands. Is there a particular reason? We know your water micro is one of your very strong points. Did you at some point thought about Rooster? Or why Team Islands? Uh, Rooster, Team Islands, and Islands were about. But I wanted to have a map that forces like. Rush a lot of micro, and at the same time, I didn't want to leave the option for him to just walk across to my. So okay. I wanted there to be like islands. And I had to transport all to go land. Okay, and uh, the Chinese players, we do know that they are very well known to go for a nomad to play nomad, and we were sort of expecting to see a nomad with uh, for, from Love Cheng. I just want to know his point of view on that game. We felt like he had a bad spot at the beginning, but I just. Sort of want to hear from him what went wrong on that game. He said, um, normally he would draw the map very good, no map, but this time he didn't. He didn't so, explore. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, and he said his eco balance is really bad this time. So basically, he didn't play his best. Uh, yeah, I mean, he didn't play his best. The map wasn't really helping him. Actually, and... that was quite unlucky because he scouted like 70% of the main island. It was just like a screen down. He had all the resources he was hoping for. And if he scouted them like three or four minutes earlier, then he gets a pull like into a fluid production to see could crush and stuff and could wall and then he could think ahead. And there it was just just like how do I get food to build the next villager? Indeed, indeed, indeed. He at some point he was really short on food. The sheep were gone. He only had like two fishing ship. Yeah. And uh fishing sheep and that uh, Seemed to be a little bit hard for him. You have some questions? Yeah, for obviously the... about game two. Um, like, yeah, just put out as through your thoughts at game two from like reaching feudal age to like the end of the game of Love Chang, obviously. 
Um, but, uh, um, game two was Team Islands. Uh -huh. Both players were rushing, uh -huh. and I'd want to know, like, what did he think? What happened there that he lost and got a disadvantage? Um, I want to ask you. After the game, after the game, what happened? 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 就封建的时候，忘记停，还停了很久。就因为本身第一局的时候，最终本本来没打算自己有机会，第一局赢了以后，想到自己机会来了，反而到自己很紧张。第二局，嗯，停船停了很久，首先开局就不好，跟封建慢了差不多慢了一个农民，然后经常停农停船，船都没出。Yeah, still, the first game made him panic or, or nervous or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so he actually did a really bad start, bad, best, best start at, at the game. And after that, he always forgot to make big ships. Mm -hmm. uh, he thinks that cost him the game. OK. I have a like, closing question. Lao Cheng, do you think you would perform better in a tournament? Where like all the names would be blanked, so you know that you're facing an enemy, but you don't know the name. <laughs> 他问你，如果你在将来打比赛的时候看不到比赛对手的时候，就是可能会用一个马甲来代替代替的话，你会不会打得更好一点？嗯，应该会，比这些。<laughs> okay, I'm sure.